Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how to create a stacked card carousel list. And uh, uh, yes, uh, I'll show you a demo. Uh, suppose this is your list, and if you will scroll up, then it will be arranged like stacked manner, stacked of card basically. And if you will tap on any one of this, like for show details. You can show your picture or anything details in another screen it is navigating to detail screen so it looks pretty good so without any delay let's get started so for this first of all you will have to install a package which is stacked card carousel and then uh, this is my main function inside this i'm calling home screen and this is my home page and it is stateless widget and inside this build function uh, i'm assuming that uh, this is my uh, array and it is coming from api and if uh, your data will come from api then you will call uh, your function and uh, like http or dio whatever uh, you will use for getting the data from uh, api so assume that this is the api work uh, for now i don't have any kind of api i'm using my asset images and in your case if you will apply it in your live project then maybe your data will come from api dynamically then you can use uh, like this so for now uh, suppose this is the method for getting the data and i have created model class also so here is the model class and there is only two things coming which is image path and title so this is it and uh, uh, created list of my data model and then i'm calling this inside this data from api and it is of uh, it is also a list which is of my model type and inserting all the uh, data which is coming from the api assuming for now uh, inside this data from api then inside this scaffold background color is black <coughs> app bar this is the title <coughs> these are the basic things and inside this body I've used a stacked card carousel. It will come from the package that I have installed in the beginning and it will take items. So for now, I have taken here this data from api.map and data and then it is returning fancy card. Fancy card is another class that I have created for this kind of UI. So what kind of things it is taking as a parameter? It is image as a string and title as a string so this is the image path and this is the title which is coming from here this is image path and this is the title and then it is two list because it is dynamic so that is it in this page let's move forward towards this fancy card uh, page ui basically and i will put the code on github and will share the link uh, with you uh, through the description box you can check that let's move towards this fancy card and again also it is stateless widget and it will take two param it has two parameters one is image and another one is title both of them are string type and inside this this build method it is card elevation is 4 and there is a padding of 16 from all four sides and inside that there is a column and then there is one children as container which is which will take image as child and height and width is 20 250 so this is the image and this is for title and both of them are inside column that is why uh, image this is the image and this is the title and then this is the outline button and on tap it is navigating to show detail uh, detail page so i haven't created detail page uh, i will uh, create for now so what it will take it will be a stateful widget for now i am taking a stateful widget 
you can take according your according to your use if uh, you do not want to perform any action you want to uh, show some data only then you can also take stateless widget here so stateful type detail page would be name and then it will take also uh, two things a title and image because i want to show uh, title and title as a app bar title and image for uh, display so you can pass any other um, details like uh, uh, for description or anything else you can increase parameters for now i, I am taking here to like title and image url required title required this dot image url and then uh, scaffold and mm, app bar inside this app bar i will put title text and it will be widget dot title and inside body image and for now i'm using asset image that is why i'm using image dot asset every time and if you will uh, your image will come from the api then you will be uh, you you will take image dot network and you will put your image url like widget dot image url for now i'm using asset image that is why i'm using image dot asset and the width will be full that is why i'm using media query of context size dot width and height would be 500 you can manage your ui according to your use and fit dot fit uh, box fit fill okay that's it uh, i hope that uh, all the errors are gone okay so let me run this once again yes. okay so it is working fine looks pretty good animations are awesome i will put the code on github and will share the link with you you can copy paste my code and yes uh, that's it for now and uh, hope to see you next time in our next video bye for now